I, I keep saying that and I don't begin. I'm so fucking weird. Alright. <clears throat> How's it going, everybody? To all the peeps at YouTube right now, welcome, welcome, guys. Thank you all so much for sticking along on the stream as well. We're going to start this coaching session. Let's begin. Civil 4 player. His uh, ELO is down below on the screen. And his name is Kat Gotia. He's NA player. So let's see, guys. Let's see, he's on loading screen. There, there. Okay, number one, we need to make sure the music is not too loud. Una Memento. There. Keep it like that. All right, guys. Let's see. Uh, start dark seal, three health pots. That's how I'd start. So I'm curious. Uh, I want. I want to press tab so I could just see how many players. Uh, what are the 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 enemy team comp? So I can know that. Alright, he's playing Korean um, announcer. Let's put that up a little bit. Alright. Let's see. This is a 42 minute game. Uh, so the code session, you can expect it to be around an hour or so. Or a little bit more than an hour because I really like talking. Oh! Let's make sure I open up Notepad, actually, so I can timestamps for silver for a player. There, I always timestamp. The timestamps will be in the description below if you're on YouTube, by the way. And it's going to be the in-game time where my mouse is. If you see my mouse, the in-game time of the timestamps, not the video's timestamps. Okay, <clears throat> so. And I have Twitch chat opened up right here as I'm watching this. Japanese or Korean? I don't know. The screen looks oddly dark, but that doesn't matter. Start a queue. He's got crafting potion 32 MR. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. His map is kind of weird, right? It's a bit of early aggression. Okay. Okay. You end up doing more damage to him though, because you have Dark Seal. He has 4 AP, by the way, so I don't know why he would fight you with 4 AP. He made a mistake. <coughs> oh, terrible last hit. Sad face. Really? Alright, no worries, no worries. Thank you, a dragon cat. And thank you for hopping in, man. Don't you miss that cannon now. There we go. Right, so far, pretty standard laning phase. Um, nothing much is gonna happen here, to be honest. He's 4 AP. He tried to play aggressive. He got hurt pretty bad. Also, you're a little bit too pushed right now, by the way. I would really recommend you be careful. You don't know where their jungler is. He's probably clearing jungle camps by now. Also, I don't know what the, who their jungler is. So, you didn't press tab so I can see. Hopefully, you press tab at some point. So, I know their composition. I know they have a Cho'Gath, Lulu. Nice, nice, nice. Good punish, good punish, good punish. Mm. 
Night Rift? Yeah, I don't know, maybe it's a map mod or whatever. Anyways. That's cool. W! There you go. And just beforehand, guys, I want to let you know, like, I am, I am like a aggressive coach, so my coaching technique can be really aggressive at some points. So don't be like, hey, you're being too harsh on him. That's how I do it. So, yeah. Don't get too offended. Okay, uh, one thing, one thing I would have done, by the way. He didn't do anything wrong, but I'll, I'll tell you, like, one thing I would do. Like, you kill him, okay? You E basic attack W. Don't just E W, man. I mean, this is early laning phase. You want to do as much damage as possible. So you want to make sure you E basic attack W when you go in like that. So I'm just going to timestamp that real quick. Uh, 428. Make sure to AA early. Don't need to just W. And that's crucial early. Crucial early. Oh, shit. We got a... I think we have a host. Oh, Corey. Thank you for the host, man. I appreciate that. Thank you, brother. Okay, so Fizz uh, ease away. And then Kazakh jumps on you. I think you'll be fine, though. You should be fine. There's no problem. W. Don't jump off. But, okay, no flash. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, 44, time flash. I know you're not going to, so I'm just gonna say it anyway. 9, 44, time flash takes 5 minutes. Ka F444. Equal up at 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, 44. Oh, I'm so bronze. Hold on. Whoops, not 9, 44. 444 in game timestamp. I wrote 9, 44 by accident. Anyway, here's why. Oh no, Q, please, Q, please, please, please. I'm tilted. I'm tilted. I'm tilted. I'm tilted. This tilts me more than it tilts you. Trust me. All right, let's look back at this, man. Holy shit. A lot of mistakes were made. A lot of mistakes. And I'll tell you what you, exactly what you did wrong. I'll tell you. Okay, Q, W. From here on, it's fine. You're doing the right thing. Okay. Your shovel went up, by the way, put a point in Q, or put a point in W at the very least. You know, your W is up in in 3 seconds. It's ideal to put a point in W now, just so you can do more damage, but in the end of the day, you should probably max Q. Uh, here, you don't have to shampoo directly on him and ignite. You could try, uh, what I would have done is walk up to him, basic attack W, when he flashes, I shampoo. Okay, watch. Once again, I'll tell you once again, just to clarify, okay? I'm, I'm a good, I'm very, like, uh, emphasizing on clarification when I see things like this happen, okay? It seems like it's not a big deal, right? But it actually is. Uh, let's look back. Watch. Okay, QW. Don't shampoo. Uh, save your shampoo. It's very important to have shampoo when they use their gackos, right? Kazakh doesn't have E, correct? He used it to get to lane. He's gonna flash away. You know he's going to flash away. So when you shampoo, ignite, he flashes away. Oh, watch. You don't have shampoo now. How do you gap close that? You can't, because you don't have shampoo. So you next time walk to him and basic attack W if you want to fight him like that. Also, don't flash when your Q's on cooldown. See, you flashed, and then what? You have you don't have your Q. When you flash, you want to make sure your Q's up too. So FQ, like instantly. Just wait for your cooldowns, and then throw out the Q. Hold on, I'll timestamp that as well. 447. Wait for Q CD before flashing. Also, by the way, you didn't point a point in Q just yet either. You should definitely do that. You should have done that when you got it, when you shampooed on Kazix there. You should already put a point in Q already. So if you kill him right there, like you still don't have, you still don't have it leveled up. So you're not gonna deal as much damage. Hell, that two points in Q might not even kill Kazix. It might not kill him. And plus, you decide to change your attention against Fizz who has E when you have no reason to Q him because you know he has E. Of course, he's going to dodge your Q with E. So I'm gonna timestamp that, time stamp that as well. 449. Wait for Fizz E, then Q. You know he will Q. You know he will E your Q. Very obvious. It's it's way too obvious. All Fizz players do this. Okay, Q now. Why didn't you Q him? Oh come on. 
You could actually kill them. You had your Q up. Okay, you Q him up, but the Q still remains with you, right? It still remains, even though you did a mistake. You still have it up. Just fight him back, man! Fight him back! You can kill him! Q the- Oh my goodness. You had him, man. 100%. You had him, you had him, you had him. All you had to do was put a point in Q, which you still did not do. You still didn't put a point in Q. So that's pretty cringe. Cringe compilation. Holy crap, dude. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, sorry. That was that was rude. That was rude. I'm sorry. Okay, you tilt me. You tilt me. Like, don't fucking do this to me, man. I mean, fuck. Come on, man. <clears throat> All you have to do was put a point in Q, man. Okay, you can kill him now. EQ, EQ, W, ignite. You don't have ignite. Just try to. You can't anymore. He has probably E by now. He's gonna get E soon. You should still put a point in Q. You still didn't put a point in Q. Wait for his E, Habibi. Wait for his E. Wait for his E. Holy fucking shit! Wait for his E. You, 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 you hesitate, man. You hesitate so much. Right? He has no flash. You don't eat. Don't eat. Oh! Woo! Woohoo! <laughs> okay. How am I gonna get past this for the next 42 minutes? I don't fucking know, dude. Holy shit. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, man. Alright, man. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. You, you made so many mistakes already, man. I can't, like... I can't even describe the, how much, how many mistakes you have done so far. Okay, step by step, okay? We'll go step by step. Okay, here. After he either way. Okay. Now, you know his E is gonna be up. You still didn't point to point in Q, so... 504. Still didn't put a point in Q. Okay, that's your first mistake still. Okay, then you try to Q him when he still has E. You know, okay, 505, he still... Got his E cooldown back up. Don't try to Q him. You have no reason to. No reason. Okay. He flashes. No F. 507. 1007. 507. Fizz flash. Timer is up in 1007. Press tab to make sure what's his flash cooldown. You could press tab, go to his uh, summoner spells, you can see how many seconds are on his flash to know exactly what's the time of that. So, furthermore, you're not gonna time his flash. I know you won't. I know you won't. <clears throat> so I just put it beforehand, right? Okay, what else did you do wrong here? Watch. Okay, so you have W, still no point in Q, right? So you actually queued him, but you didn't put a point in Q. Why? You know, if you put a point in Q, you technically deal more damage. You technically do. So you should put a point in Q, man. As soon as you see that thing, control Q instantly. Like, don't, don't, like, be quick, man. Be quick. Control Q. Get that shit up, man. Get that shit up. Or you can just max W here and just fight him. At least you have a fighting chance. Right? So you E point blank range. That's horrible, horrible, horrible. So 508. Point blank shampoo. Terrible use of shampoo. It's not meant as a damage ability. Use it for gap closing. I want fap closing. <laughs> Use it for gap closing. Use it for gap closing. Okay. It does no damage early. Especially at level 1 E. Terrible. By the way, you would have killed him by now if you just had 3 points in Q. Or at least another point in W. Or if you just wait for his cooldown and he ended up killing you. And to be honest, like, this Fizz is not good. Like, you can beat him. Like, he's, he fucking sucks. I'm sorry. He's not that good. You could have you killed him easily. So easily. If you just pa be patient and wait for his cooldowns, you would have had him, man. If you, if, you can't, if you can't Q him, wait for his E. Okay, wait for his E. Or just W to him to force him to use E. And then use Shampoo to dodge his E. There's so many ways you can counterplay that. And you messed up bad. You messed up big time. Oh, look at that. Uh, guys? Uh, guys? Uh... Uh... Uh, guys? <sighs> Man, this is not fucking silver. This is not fucking silver, this is trash 4. This is trash 4 right fucking there. Holy shit, that was garbage. Alright, let's look at this, uh, this fantastic Amum right here. Alright, so if it's a low, right? F! F! And this does the 
minions! You can't even kill him across the minions! Where is the brain? Where is the brain? Oh my god, the brain is non-existent! What the fuck is the brain? Is that is that even a thing in the human body? What is a brain? Right. <clears throat> Alright, watch this. He flashes, and then he doesn't even fucking kill him. Like, wait, just kill him now! Kill Walk here, walk here, kill like this! Oh my fucking shitty fuck! Oh, this hurts. Oh! Oh! Fucking hurts, man. Fucking hurts a lot. Hurts like a bitch. Fuck shit. <laughs> hey, what's up, Cinema Smoothie? Thank you for hopping in, man. <laughs> this game's getting cringy. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, man. That's crazy. <clears throat> yeah, a lot of mistakes have been made so far. It's 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 terrible, man. But this is this is good. This is good for him to learn. There is, of course, the saying: if you don't uh, if you don't make mistakes, you're never gonna learn. So, it, it's okay. That's an odd looking tab menu. Man, hey, this guy has mods everywhere on his uh, league. He's got modded tab menu, modded everything's m like he put mods on it or something. The map looks different. Anyway. Game's being attacked. You're not looking at the map. Mo you're not even looking around the map a lot, to be honest. You're just focusing too much on lane. I know you're probably looking at the minimap, but like you you to go to that information to see. Okay, good Q. You might even force him to you, so it's not that bad. Don't go don't 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 walk up like that, man. Okay, you're a little bit hesitant, man, with your movement. Like, if you notice your movement, it you seem so hesitant. And I know, I know hesitation when I see it. I know exactly how hesitation looks like. Okay, so if you look, look closely, okay? Like, just look at the little, little detail of movement, okay? He walks up here, W's, and then panics. Like, he really puts panics. He stands still, and then he puts his mouse like this. He was like here, and then panics. Like, he's in a, he's in a situation where it's just like... The movement is really, really, really bad movement. Alright, watch closely. Notice how he W's like that. And up and close. Like, you have no reason to do that. You just took free damage for no reason, really. That's poor. Poor. 642. Careful with movement. Don't walk up close to Fizz like that. With his minions showing up. Be patient. Wait for his E to trade better. Typically what you want to do is wait for his E to trade better. Or shampo away to avoid his E, which is what you did there, which was good. But still, your movement was not good. Bad W. Jungle's missing, by the way. I want to see what you do now, okay? So, his lane is pushed up to this point. I want to see what he does now. His lane is pushed here. Jungler is missing. Don't do that, man. Don't, 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 don't do that. Watch, okay? Look. Okay, don't do that. I'll tell you what he did wrong. You're probably like, whoa, what did I do wrong, Al Nino? Watch. Okay. The way, the way you're pressing Q like this, okay? Look. Q, 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 Right? Look, look how much you're pressing Q, 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 like that. Like, you're making it so obvious that you want to Q him just by the way you're moving to him. When you throw a Q, you want them not to expect it, right? You want them not to expect it. Also, you allow yourself to get hit. Um, you don't have to queue like that, man. Just queue, queue at the right time. Queue, like when you're in range, and then jump away. Don't just queue, 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 queue. Don't mash queue, man. Don't do that, okay? Especially when you're far away from range. What you could have done is, is just wait, just wait for the right time. That's all. You don't have to do this right now. 703. Don't mash queue like that. Not when you are this far. Don't make it obvious that you want to queue him. It's too obvious. I mean, this Fizz must be must be super trash bronze if he didn't think you were going to queue him there. Also, you have Shampo, you have Shampo, you have Shampo. Get out of there. Good. Fizz no R. He doesn't have E, by the way. He has 22% TDR. He's going to have E. He's, don't, 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 don't. That's risky, man. Don't do that shit like that, man. Come on. It was dangerous, I'll tell you why. 
Okay, here's the thing. You don't have to queue directly on him, man. There's a recent change to Katarina where your bouncing blades do the same damage on every bounce, okay? So watch this, okay? You're this like this? Okay, here's what you do. You queue on this minion here that's about to die, or you queue on this one. It will bounce to Fizz, and then just war jump back if he tries to play aggressive on you, if you really want to poke him like this. Hell, oh, you could even queue this, and it will bounce here, here, and it will hit Fizz. You don't- look, he walks back now. All you have to do, queue this! Queue this! You want- you want to poke him safely? Queue this minion, it will bounce to him. That's it! Use- use the bouncing potential of- in laning phase, man. Use it. Use the bouncing potential. I'm time stamping that, hold on. Use the bouncing blades to poke Fizz. Use it on the minions to hit Fizz. Okay? Major. You don't have to queue him directly. You just, it's not something you have to do. Absolutely not. I also agree that the fact that if he, you know, as a Katarina player, okay guys, listen. When I was Silver Elo, I didn't have smart cast on, okay? It's it's a learning process. Um but I am I am hundred percent sure like Cat Gotya will start using Smart Cast. All all the, the good Katamina players will use Smart Cast eventually at some point. Right? It's very important to have Smart Cast. It makes everything faster. So I am sure that he will start using Smart Cast. He has to. If you can, Cat Gotya, if you're listening to this right now on YouTube or whatever, if you can, try to use Smart Cast right now. In your next game, try it. Try it. Yes, you might not be comfortable with it, or you might be reluctant, but it's definitely good for you. Nice EW. I'm surprised he didn't EQ, the EQ there. Okay, so you walk back. EW on him. I don't know why Kha'Zix didn't just EQ you there and deal some more damage. He just W'd you. He got an EQ. Sure he can. W EQ. Also, it was dangerous to jump out directly on him, by the way. Because he could have, if he had, he could have probably killed you. He can't kill you, I don't know, no, he can't kill you. But he would have done a lot of damage. So you, maybe you could use War Champo to escape that situation. If he gets too close, just War Champo. But I'm not gonna timestamp that because you still got away. And it's okay. Yeah, man, that basic attack it. The back waves have less HP, by the way. The caster minions, they have less HP. So you typically wanna, you know, one-shot all of them. But you don't, you can't one-shot them at the moment. W-E. W-E. Whatever, he got away. Okay, he got away. Let me look back. Whoops. Okay. This has no E. But you don't have flash, so you can't punish. Right now you should punish. Okay, he can go back the way. I thought he was gonna try to walk up close here. I thought he was gonna walk up like this. You could EQ WR that if he gets close. And you don't have to shuffle directly on him, by the way. You can shuffle on a minion and QWR. But you don't have enough money for NLR. So let me see what you buy. Man, Korean, Korean voice is so sexy. Goddamn. Or Japanese. I don't know what voice it is. Pinku! Good, you got a pink ward. And two health pots. Good. You didn't use too much money on health pots too, which is good. Here, Cho'Gath, Looter with Exhaust, okay, now I have the chance to see what they have. Cutlass, Sheen, okay, nothing major, as of yet. <laughs> yeah, he's using the F keys, guys, he's using the F keys, he learned from us. <laughs> that's, that's, I always do that, I always use the F keys, so I'm happy that he learned from me. Very happy. You definitely can't kill them all like that, man. Not at level 1 W. You want to make sure you at least basic attack W one of them. You should basic attack W more often, by the way. You don't always have to just W. They got drag. 
That woman needs to be careful. Shit's going down, but... You should look at bot lane, see what's going on. You just look at the minimap. Like, see, if you, if you have... If you have the full image of what's going on, you can say, Oh, okay, this guy has no ult, this guy has no exhaust. Like, when you, when they fall down at bot, just type in, type in chat right now. Uh, some's burned, any ults burned, L you know, let them, let them tell you. You need to know, it's very important for cat to know cooldowns. If you don't know cooldowns, then it's gonna be a lot rougher. So, if exhaust is on cooldown, you can roam bot lane. Or Lulu ult is down, you can roam bot lane, because Lulu has no R. Those little things really add up. And it makes you more efficient as a cat player. Again, you 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 queue to him way too much on directly on him. You really put yourself in a, in a dangerous position. You you could you should try to queue minions more often and make the bouncing go to fizz. All bouncing does the all the bounces do the same damage. It's been changed way back. Okay, good Q. Good. You have NLR. You have enough point for NLR. This Amumu is ultimate cringe. I'll tell you what was going through Amumu's mind at that very moment, okay? Let's let's give you like a quick scenario of uh, Amumu's inside Amumu's head, okay? Alright, this is Amumu right here. Okay, so I'm gonna walk back here. You know, I, I tried to attack Tazix, but it's okay. I said, oh shit, Catalina, the enemy's here! Oh oh, it's my ally. Whoops. It's like his his awareness is so bad that he didn't know that was his ally. Fuck me. All right, <clears throat> just wanted to make fun of him right there. I had to. I had to. I'm sorry. <clears throat> There's no E. But he has 22% CDR, he's gonna have E. Uh, Amumu, what the fuck? Okay, Amumu's okay. Fizz didn't keep going. Also, I wouldn't leave Amumu like that, by the way, if I were you. Okay? Okay, so you're back to lane. Amumu's right behind you. And then he changes his mind and walks back here. You see Fizz? Don't, don't leave Amumu by himself like that. What if Amumu did end up walking like this? And Fizz comes like that and gets Amumu. That's no fun. Amumu can't 1v1 Fizz. So I'm gonna timestamp you from that one. Timestamp 1158. Don't let Amumu. Don't leave Amumu alone like that. With Fizz showing up to him. Don't leave him alone, man. Stay in a safe distance. Right? Stay in your side of the jungle and just your presence forces Fizz to back off. Because he can't 1v2, right? So your presence would allow him to just back. So just give him that presence. Make him shit his pants. W. There you go. You have enough money for NLR. You have 79 CS. He has 56 CS. You're out CSing him very nicely. He has 41 MR and 23% CDR. So you can expect his E to always be up most of the time. W. Or basic attack, why not? QW. Uh, yes, there you go. Love that. Beautiful. Let's look back at that. Okay, I don't know why you're trying to walk up close to him. Your Q is down cooldown. You're still on cooldown. It's still on cooldown. 0 0.1 second. It's still on cooldown. Don't try to poke when your cooldown cooldown, man. That's completely unnecessary. You also don't have to poke him right there at that very second. He can just E your Q. It wouldn't even matter. You don't have to do that. You don't do unnecessary things that don't matter. Here, I'm going to timestamp that as well. 1241. Don't go too close to Fizz. Don't unnecessarily poke. It's so unnecessary. You don't have to. At all. There's no no point. All you did was take damage. Control 6! Love it. <clears throat> oh, 
Honestly, you know, not using quick cast and seeing him move so slow is cringeworthy. It's okay. He's he's uh he's still learning, man. Hey, what's up? Uh, we got a follower. We are assassins. Yo, what's up? Some X James, thank you, man, for the follow. I appreciate that, bro. Sorry, the alert didn't show up. I have to fix that later. Yeah, I uh, yeah yeah, cause they changed the stream. I need to change that later. Sorry, guys. They changed from Twitch alerts to Streamlabs, so I need to screen region it again, but it's okay. Nice. This is actually- this might be good for you. This might be good for you. Alright, don't fuck this up. You can FE! 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 No! No! Okay, okay, man. It's okay. Don't worry, don't worry. It's a mechanical error. It's a mechanical error. The only way you improve with Cat is by continuously playing and improving mechanically. Okay, I'll tell you something, man. I'll tell you something. Mechanical improvement comes within you. Um, I can't teach you how to be fast. I can't teach you. Th that's something that can't be taught. You can't teach someone to be faster, okay? Like, for example, if I tell, if I tell a kid to kick a ball... His kick's not gonna be rough. It's not gonna be tough kick. It's not gonna fly further. It's not gonna fly all the way. But as he builds up that kick, it's gonna become stronger and stronger and stronger. And then his kick, he will be really, he will master the kick. Right? He's gonna master the kick on the football. Okay? Same thing can be applied here to League of Legends. Mechanical error. That's all it is, but a huge one. Uh, what you should do right here, by the way. Look, right here, you're right here. Surprise attack, right? You're in the fog of war, you literally come out of nowhere at this at this state. You come out of nowhere, literally. She can see you, like, from here, probably. She can see you, like, here, where she's standing. She can, But, so you move, you let her know, see, see her movement? She instantly started walking down. See, instantly started walking down. Just flash jump on man. But you, instead, look what you did. Flash, you know she has condemned. That's why, when I tell you, guys, when I tell you to burst someone in a surprise engage, that's why you flash E. That's why I flash E, because they don't have time to react. They can't condemn you when you flash E Q W R. They they will die before it happens. That's how that's how good Cat is. That's why she bursts so quickly. And you want to use that to your full potential, right? So you major screwed up. Also, you didn't use Q. Look, your Q's still up. Your Q's still up. Come on, man. What is this? Why is your Q still up? Timestamp, hundred percent. Thirteen fifty three. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Use smart cast. Use it. Okay? Like, if you flash like that and you just stand still and then E, left click. Like, that's just so slow, man. Just F, E, instantly. Class, done. It's so, it's that simple, man. Um, use flash shampoo to kill Vayne. Use smart cast. Honestly, use smart cast. Flash shampoo on Vayne. And then kill Fizz. You could have killed both of them. Fizz would have been forced to eat, and then you would have got a resale on Bane, and that would allow you to kill Fizz. It was so easy. It was so easy to kill both of them. You just misplayed hard. Completely hard. No R. Why do you never 4E? You never 4E. I, I have not once seen you use your War Champo when necessary. Okay, watch. Okay? Fizz has E! Why E on him if he has E? Why? Don't, don't, here's the thing man, don't use your, your gap closer like this. You have no reason to man, you don't, don't waste it. Your, your gap closer is so important. Like, you, do you have any idea how amazing Shampo is as an ability? You, you need to respect that ability with your heart. You need to use it well, you need to use it wisely. But this is not wise usage of Shampo at all. It's a terrible Shampo, especially when Fizz has E. Okay. Also, Fizz eat like this and then flashed back in. That's kind of cringe. Um, but yeah, man. Uh, when he ulted you, just ward jumper out of the way. Ward jumper out of his range so so he doesn't collapse on you. I don't know, man. It's just really, really sloppy. It's just way too sloppy. 14-13. Use ward jumper to escape to range with R so he doesn't collapse on you. Stop eing on him when his E is up. Period. Stop doing it. How, how to solve that situation? Stop doing it. It's that easy. 
the Kuya would do Shimu Master. Sheen, Blasting Wand, Roa, Sork Shoes on him, on Cho'Gath. Lai, what's up, Lacus? I want you to coach me, but you can't, you can't get videos on YouTube because of my trash. <laughs> I can't get video. Oh, you mean you can't? Yeah, if you guys want to submit your coach sessions, just type exclamation mark coach, and that's it. From there, I tell you exactly how to submit your coach session. Uh, so far, uh, Cat Gotia yeah, has been playing very bad, to be honest. Very bad. But it's okay. See, your war jump can be so much faster if you smart cast. I promise you, man. I promise. Everything will be so much faster with smart cast. You should really learn to use smart cast as soon as possible. Blitz is fine. You should put down your pink ward. You've had your pink ward since the very beginning and you still- Put it down here! Yep! Yeah, put it, put it, put it, put it, put it, put it! Fizz is- Fizz, Fizz, Fizz! Oh my god, man! Wow. You, you just- uh, It's okay. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, right here, man. Just look at the map! Look at the map, Fizz is right in front of your face! I saw him way before you. You didn't even know at all, because you were too focused on the map itself that you didn't even know Fizz was around. So that's that's just rough. Alright, I'm just going to be brutally honest here. 1604, no, sorry, 1551. Terrible awareness, period. Look at the map every four to five seconds. Faker, guys, Faker said in an interview, that he looks at the map every four to five seconds. You have no reason not to do that as well. It will improve your awareness by so much, and using the F keys on top of that helps you improve your awareness as well. I think awareness is a huge problem that you have, because you're not even looking at the map even during laning phase. I don't see you looking for roams. I don't see you looking up top, bot, see who's low HP, see who burned cooldown, see no exhaust, no barrier, no whatever. Cooperate with your team, man. Let them let them tell you that they burn alt. Did, does Lulu have alt? Does their Ezreal have alt? Does Ezreal have E at this at this current time? Like, let, you know what I mean? You should really look how many like you need to know their their cooldowns, man. You can't just do stuff. You can't. You have to know cooldowns. That's the thing with Cat is paying attention to that. This one was, I'm sorry, this one was really bad. He's terrible. That's really trash 5. Fuck me. So far, Momo has been incredibly disappointing. And you still didn't put down the pink ward. There's no vision in your red camp right now. This is so bad, man. You should really put down your pink ward now. And you know where to put it. I think you watch my videos, so I think you know where. But you have, you have so many opportunities that you just wasted. So many. Jump on it. On an ally minion. Okay. So, when you, guys, uh, just a little tip. When you have Lubin's Echo, make sure you jump on ally minions and then Q. Don't jump on enemy minions because then you proc your Lubin on a minion. And you don't want that. So when, when Kha'Zix is walking like that, here, just watch. Jump on this minion here, on your ally minion, right? Why, why do you, why do you Q the minion? Why? You have no reason to, just E, Q, Kha'Zix. E on this minion, Q him, once he gets out of stealth. I don't see, I don't see why not. I don't see why you wouldn't do that, you have Luden. You're not using Shumpo very well, to be honest. I'm gonna timestamp. 1655, not using Shampo very well, just generally. Fail usage, just Shampo on ally minion and Kuka. 
It's really that simple. It's so simple. I, li I like Japanese and Korean, they sound so cool, yeah. The language is awesome. I don't know why you're top, by the way. You have no reason to be here. I don't know why you're here. I don't know. Why are you top lane? Why? Fuck if I know. I don't know why. Just put down the pink wall! Put the pink wall! Holy shit! Put down the fucking pink ward that you've had for 10 minutes straight. Holy shit. Holy shit. That hurts. That hurts my soul, my brain, my everything. Put down the fucking pink ward. Tell Blitz to fall back because they're all missing. Blitz! Blitz, what the fuck are you doing? This Blitz is bronze! This Blitz is bronze! Blitz? Why are you not looking? Look at the fucking... Is that an ally or who's that? That's Ezreal, okay. You're not, you're not looking, you're not looking. Look, you're just farming, you're not looking. Look at the map. Come on, man, what is this awareness? Dude, look. Look, you didn't, you didn't even... Look now, look now, look now. <laughs> Why? Why would you not look? What are you doing now? What? What are you doing now? <laughs> Dude. All right, let's look back. It's okay. Okay. So at this point on, you just look at the you look at the mid lane. You never look. At, you don't even bat an eye. The what's going on here? You don't even look at all. You do, you don't give a shit. Why? This is your team at stake here. Look. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna come help you guys. Oh, never mind. I'll walk back to mid lane. I'll do something with my alt tab right here. I'll just alt tab and do something real quick. Hold on, guys. Give me a sec. I'll be right there. I'll be right there. Give me a sec, y'all. All right. All right. Give me a sec here. Come on, man. Your team. You, you could have done shit there. I don't know why you were staying in mid lane like that, man. Just go help them. You know how strong you are? You have a fucking Luden. You know how strong Kat is with Luden? Also, you're not checking they have Amar. You're, you're not doing any any of that. You're not checking their Amar. Hey, 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 ah! Stop. I want to I wanna, I wanna see their items. <coughs> okay. NLR, Lich Bane, Botric. Yeah, they have zero Amar. Zero. Also, this silver, they're not gonna build Amar. They're not gonna build it this early. Look at Amumu! Look at Amumu! He's dead anyway. He Amumu played that badly to begin with. I don't know what the fuck Amumu's doing. Why would you even try to invade their red with all enemies missing? Why are you- Why are you walking here? Why- <laughs> Sorry, guys. Let's look back. Okay, so you have the information. Okay, watch, 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 watch. Everyone, everyone, listen. Everyone, watch. If you're all tab right now, watch. This is fucking crucial. Watch. Okay. Okay. So look at the moment, right? I move. What does he do? He goes in their enemy, right? First of all, that was a stupid move. Really, really fucking stupid. Okay. He gets caught by three people, and Cat Gotcha doesn't even bat an eye to what's going on. On his red, on the enemy red camp, he doesn't care. Okay, he just keeps hitting the turret. Okay, Amumu goes in Q, and then gets I know condemned by Vayne. Like I even know what's going on on the mini map without even having a look. Like I just know you need to you need to fucking look, man. Okay, so three people in the enemy red camp. Okay, three enemies in the red area camp. Okay, what do you do? Kazakh shows up. Okay, look, what's your first instinct? You fucking, you go to the direction the three people are from. I mean, it was, it's all in front of your eyes. Look, you know what you should do? Look at the minions here. Jump on the minion. Jump on the minion. And you're, and you're out. You're gone. You're, you're free. Look, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven minions. Seven minions. And the first thing you do is walk to the wall. Why? 
Why not just get get to the minions? If he tries to fight you in the minion, just QWR him. You have minion advantage. You can 1v1 him. Fuck him. What is he gonna do? He's a fucking little buggerino. He's not gonna do shit to you. You're fucking cat. For God's sake. So who gives a fuck if he 1v1s you under under your minions? You have the minion advantage if he tries to 1v1 you. So don't be scared of that. Oh, you could just walk away. You could just walk away. In all seriousness, no. In, in all seriousness, you can actually burst him though. You could do so much damage to him. He has zero fucking MR. And what do you do? You walk exactly to the direction where they kill the Momo. And look at that. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Holy fucking shit. Walks towards the direction of the enemies that killed Amumu in the enemy red camp. Also, you should have shampooed. You should have shampooed on your minions as they were coming. Period. Time stamped. 100% time stamped. Holy fuck, man. I'm sorry, but that was pretty bad. I'm sorry, man. That was fucking bad. <laughs> Why am I laughing at him? I'm so, I'm so fucking mean. I'm so fucking mean. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, I'm sorry. But that was crash, man. Map awareness. Yeah, I mean, okay. This, this moment needs to shut the fuck up, though. Look at map awareness? Question mark? I'm almost, you fucking flash like an idiot, and you don't even kill when you when you try to try to go mid and clean up. You're you're just as fucking. You're fucking terrible. Okay, you are terrible fucking bull. Do not talk. Do not talk. You also you also decide to invade red buff alone with all enemies missing. Amumu, shut the fuck up, Amumu. Shut the fuck up, man. That that pisses me off. That Amumu, man. Map awareness? Question mark? Katarina? Katarina? It's like yes, Katarina fucked up, but you fucked up even more. You fucked up way more. You fucking do stupid shit. Fuck out of here. <clears throat> Hold on, what happened to the music? There we go. Sorry about that. Alright. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. Man, so far, I'm telling you, man, so far it has been atrocious. Atrociously bad. I mean, damn. There's a lot of poor decision making going on. And that Amumu needs to shut the fuck up, man. Yeah, yeah Habibi, you have your fucking pink word for the, for the past 15 minutes, and you still haven't put down the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, Habibi, you have the fucking pink one. Put it down. Put it down. Yeah, he put it fucking down. Why the fuck do you walk around with a pink one? You fucking put it down. Yeah, I'm put it down. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You don't have word. Use your pink one to watch Jumper. You're fine. Where is the pink ward, man? I don't know why you still don't put it, man. Yeah, Habibi. Let's see what you buy now. Also, I'll tell you something else you did wrong, by the way. Way back. I tell you, you probably think, uh, what did he do wrong? Hold on. Okay. You shampo to last hit the minion. Okay? You shampo to last hit the minion, which is, you know, fine to some extent. It's fine. But. It's not ideal in a situation like, well, I mean, realistically speaking, you don't have a ward shampoo. Like, you don't have a ward to shampoo anyway. But you could have used a pink ward to shampoo away, still. But still, you used it when enemies are coming to you. 
You know, and it's so obvious that they're gonna come to you because you're up there and there's no vision in the right area at all. So obviously they're gonna come to you, and you have to you have to flash for that. So we're just gonna skip forward back to here. A lot of mistakes have been done so far. Uh, yeah, I upload this to YouTube, man. I, I upload all my Katarina coach sessions to my YouTube. You can type exclamation mark coach, and right there you can see my full coaching playlist for all the Katarina players that I've coached. Okay, so you went, you went no magic mantle against... Uh, it's not a bad choice, but I personally wouldn't get it. I would just go Zonya. That's... Yo! It's okay. It's okay. You missed the cannon minion, but it's okay. Put down the fucking pink one! Oh my god, that shit triggers me so fucking bad, man. Holy shit. Put down the fucking pink ward. Put it. Now. Yes. Now you're walking here. Yes. Put it. Put it. Put it. Put it. Put it. Like, holy shit. It takes 0 0.5 seconds to put a pink ward. Even less than that. 0 0.00001 seconds to put down a pink ward in a fucking bush. I mean, holy shit. Alright. Walks back the lane. Still no fucking pink ward. Sits there for like all the fucking game it's been sitting in his inventory. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> I'm gonna timestamp that right now. 2216. Use the fucking pink ward in that bush. Holy fuck. I'm tilted. I'm literally gonna timestamp that. <clears throat> okay, walking back to lane. Put down the fucking pink ward now. As you're walking down, just put it down. Just put it down. <clears throat> All right, don't miss the cannon. Mr. Fucking Cannon. It's okay. I'm not mad. I'm okay. I'm not fucking mad. Put on the fucking pink ward now. Okay. Yes! You just moved it! <laughs> you just moved the fucking pink ward, so technically you know you have a pink ward, so why don't you fucking put it? Why? Dude, watch out, watch out, watch out. You know this is coming for you. You didn't even... That was the latest jump I've ever seen. Just watch up out of there, man. You were in a very dangerous spot there. If you got Choke of Silence to knock up, you would have been screwed. 100%. Even though I disagree with this purchase completely, I think Abyssal is not, not something you need right now. Even though it's good against Fizz and all that, and I guess Cho'Gath, it's, yeah, it works great, but it's, it's not something you need. Katawin is a burst champion. You don't fucking need protection. Fuck that. You didn't even W. Q E W R, mate. Also, because you want the the LR route, you lack in damage now. You should have went Zonya or Void Staff. But you don't need Void Staff because they don't have uh, they don't have much MR, so you don't need Void Staff right now. Cho'Gath is way too tanky. You shouldn't even try anything against Cho'Gath. You just wait for cooldowns, which you're not doing. There's no E. There's no E. Good. Fizz has it, you know, for sure. He has a lot of cooldown reduction. Forget Cho'Gath, forget him. You can't do anything against him. He's way too, way too tanky. Come on, man. You're so, he you're so hesitant. Like, you are so hesitant with your movement. Watch, watch, watch. Like, look how hesitant you are. I know I know hesitation when I see it. I know exactly what hesitation is in League of Legends, okay? This right here, watch, watch, look at the movement, okay? 
Wait, wait, wait. It's when he presses something constantly. Here, here. Okay. You see that? You see that? He wanted to queue that last minute, but he didn't do it. Because he has Smartcast off. You want to put Smartcast on, man. So you can just get shit done a lot more swiftly. So much more swiftly. Smartcast just is not good for Cat. Absolutely not. You definitely want to start using Smartcast ASAP. Okay, nice, nice. Dude. I don't know, you're so scared. Like, you're so scared. I don't know why, man. He doesn't have E. Come on, mate. Alright. Okay, look. Okay. Look. E! Okay, no E! What? Why? Okay. I'm gonna calm down. I'm gonna calm down. Okay, why do you back off when he doesn't have E? That makes zero sense to me. He doesn't have E. He can't, he can't escape your R. He can't cancel your R. He can't do shit. He can R you very well. He can R you, but you have Garen on the, here to help you. Come on, man. I'm gonna timestamp that as well. 24, 49. Why walk back? You can just fight Fizz. He had no E. You, you, you just hesitate so much. And the smart cast thing is not helping you at all. Like it's just making things a lot harder for you. Like you're a lot slower and less swift with smart cast on. You're making a lot of mistakes. So many mistakes. I'm not sure what you're doing now. Five people missing. Okay, sure, get some money, why not? Someone was mid. D mm, nice. He's really gonna be upset if you missed the cannon. Okay, that's it, back. You don't you have no reason to keep pushing. No reason. Back. Forget it. No, 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 no. They're gonna do Baron! You're Okay, what you're doing right now? is you're staying bot that allows the enemy team to basically just 5v4 baron against four of your team that's a bad move if they're if the enemy team is smart but i don't think they're smart nah they're not they're not gonna they're not gonna do it watch they're not gonna do it yep they got draw oh, they were doing drag now they like i don't see why you do this stuff man it just makes no sense everybody's missing on the map and you just sit here and farm that deep in lane. It just, it, it just, it just doesn't make sense. You're so okay. Timestamp. You are so deep in lane at this stage of the game with everyone missing on the map. Furthermore, if they were at Baron's side, they would have taken Baron because they know you are bot. Yup. Horrendous. There's no way you can escape this. You also you miss. You also use Chapa on a minion, so you're fucked. All you can do is flash. I'm surprised. Good, good. You made it. You made it. But it was so unnecessary. You know, this this whole thing could have been avoided. All of this could have been a control six. Come on, man. That's what that was not a good move at all. So you don't control six. Don't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You control six whenever you want. <laughs> I only tell you to control six when you fucking have to. You don't do shit like that. <clears throat> Your team's pushing mid. Which, by the way, they should back because you're not around. And there's five people on the enemy team that just recalled. And I don't know what the fuck is Garen doing. I don't know. I don't know. Like, this fucking Garen. Oh my god. Fizz is here, right here on the mini map. Like your your lack of awareness. It's it's so rough. A second time that happens, by the way, due to lack of awareness. You're not looking at the map often at all, and you also don't. Okay, here you want that my advice? What my advice? Press hold down space to go back to your champion, or just tap space to go back to your champion instantly. Okay, just do that. 
and look at the map so you know you're safe when you're looking don't always okay don't always look at the image in front of you look at the map as often as you can all right huge mistake so far man that's it's a uh, a lot of mistakes made in this game there's no doubt no doubt and by the way by the way you want to know what's funny you want to know what's funny? He still has the pink cord. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do with you? What do I do with you? I'm just kidding, man. But please. Okay, like, in all honesty, brutal honesty, use that fucking pink word, mate. Use that fucking pink word. Use it, put on the coverage. Like, I don't, I don't know why, why you're so reluctant to use it. You've had it since the beginning of this game. <sighs> that hurts. That hurts, mate. Man, Man that fucking hurts. Oh my goodness. Put down the <laughs> put down the fucking pink ward. You trigger so me so fucking bad, dude. Triggered. Al Nino's triggered. Okay man. I believe in you. Damn the song. They're mid man, you're not looking at the map. Do not look at the map at all. I don't know. Is this gonna work out? There's no E! There's no E! Go 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 go! No E! Yes, Habibi! Get him! Get him! Get him! Kill Kazakh so much me! Free reset! Free reset! Yes! Yes! Q! 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 Go go! Keep going! Keep going! Fuck! Fuck! Chow! Fuck! Chow! Go for Lulu! Go for Lulu! Go for Lulu! Watch out for E! Watch up a queue, watch up a queue, watch up a queue, watch up a queue, watch up a queue! Go on, Shampoo! Yes! Don't go that way! There's someone there! Good. Yes! Man, listen man, next time just watch Shampoo Q, alright? If you can't reach the enemy with Shampoo, watch Shampoo Q, ignite WR. That's the combo of, of how it goes, okay? 4 E Q W R ignite. That's how you do it. Or just 4 EQR if your W is not in range, okay? Kazakhs did do well, uh, Kazakhs? Blitzcrank did good there by pulling Cho'Gath away from you so you can chase Lulu. Okay, man, come on, get- no, 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 4, four E over the wall, 4 E over the wall, over the wall! <gasps> You're dead, you're dead. I don't know why you just stood still by the way. Okay, look at look at the way you moved here. Okay, look, look. Why? Why why'd you just stop? Why why'd you freeze? Like why? Also, by the way, you should know that he's gonna knock up. You should know he's going to try to knock you up. So you should know that but before it even happens, you should anticipate that it's gonna happen. So I'm gonna timestamp that. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you a quick little thing, okay? Twenty nine thirty. You should start anticipating abilities more often. Okay, you have to predict the knock up if Cho hasn't used it. And don't just stand still. Like you did there. Okay, so... I, I, I'll tell you guys, Twitch chat. I, I will tell you guys, okay? I'll tell you something. You're against a Syndra. Okay, just all think with, with Twitch chat. You are as, uh, you're against a Syndra and you're Katarina. Okay? Syndra... You're low HP, you're half HP, and Syndra has E. What's the first thing you do? 
She just queued and she's getting ready to stun you. Do you anti you when you react to something, it's different than anticipating something, okay? When you anticipate it, you know it's gonna happen at some point. That's anticipation. Reaction is when it happens on the spot. That's the difference between anticipation and reaction. In this case, you should have anticipated the knockup. You should know it's gonna happen because you know it's up. You know it's up on cooldown. You know he has it. You know there's definitely, definitely has it. Of course he's gonna do it. Why wouldn't he? So the first thing you do is try to sidestep it. Even though you're silenced, you have to try to sidestep it. You have to anticipate abilities. Like even against Fizz, even against Fizz, there wasn't a single time that I saw you against Fizz where you could where you punished his E. Not a single time. You didn't punish his E once. You didn't punish any of his abilities at all. You didn't punish anyone's abilities. You're just going in and hoping that shit works out. It's not ideal. This is not how you cat. Anyway, that was rough. I swear, you don't. You need. You need. You need the uh, void or rab or zonia. Void or zonia at this stage of the game. Look at their items. See what they have before deciding to buy. Press tab. Look. Yeah. See. There you go, buddy. There you go. See. It's like he listened to me, right? It's like he listened to me. Lichbane, Rab, Roa, Mikhail. At this point, you could go for zonia. Sure. Because this is the silver, they're not gonna build Amara, they're just terrible. I'd go Zonya. And I wouldn't have gone Abyssal. I would have just gone Zonya after Luden instantly. I would skip Abyssal, you don't need fucking Amara. Fuck Amara. Fuck that shit, you don't need Abyssal, it's garbage. It doesn't do much damage, Academy is all about damage. Piri fucking id. Just buy Zonya. And you still didn't use the pick word, it's 30 minutes in the game and you still didn't fucking use it. You make me wanna cry. Okay. Now you're gonna put the pink word. Now. Now. I know you will now. Okay? I, I believe in you. I believe you're listening to my voice right now and you're gonna put down that pink word. Okay? You're gonna put it down. Shut down. Shut it down. I love that. Shut it down. I, <laughs> I like the voice. I like the voice of the Japanese. Yes! Guys, it's a hold on. It's a miracle! After 30 fucking minutes, he put down the pink ward. Yes! Yes! Woohoo! He did it! <laughs> WR, don't he? There you go. See? That was good. See how you use Shampo there? See? You're, you're, it's like you're already learning. Q? Okay. W here. W. Okay, I don't know why you delayed your W so much. It still hit. Okay, see? And then you are E, and then are after he used his gap closer to escape. After he used his escape ability, that's how you fight with Cat. You wait for abilities to go, wait for the escape, and then shampoo. Good. Good. You don't just QEWR. Good. Good. That was good. This is what you should do. Because if you just QEWR, Kazuk jumps out, and then you can't chase him because your shampoo is on cooldown. Good. You did it. I'm proud of you. Four people dead. You should do Baron. 100%. Four people are dead. Four people. I like Garen's voice in Japanese. It's so cool. Cho'Gath is bot lane. You, you got this. Cho'Gath is all the way at bot lane. You're fine. This fucking Amumu makes me want to cry. <laughs> Let's look at that again. What the, what the fuck happened there? Oh my god. Okay, let's watch this fucking Amumu. Hey guys, I'm gonna re-engage, okay? I just had to back off. I, I dropped low HP just over a little bit. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Please tell me you guys think I did, man. Just cue it, cue it, cue it. Cue it! 
What are you waiting for? What the? Oh my god! You died. I'm done with this. Oh my god! <laughs> Please get it for fuck's sake. I don't understand why you didn't queue it. Like you're so hesitant and you're so slow with your abilities. So slow. Level up R. Th they need to get out of here now because they're gonna come. What the fuck? Well, there goes three people with Baron buff. At least you get the gold, right? Get Zonya. Good. Your team's not getting a single pink ward. This is terrible. Now that fucking... That fucking Amumu, man. Yeah, I don't, I don't go Abyssal either, man. It's, it's not a good item. It really is not a good item on Cat. It really isn't. Like, yeah, sure, it gives you AP, it gives you MR. You don't give a shit about fucking MR, man. You're Katarina. You're Katarina, for fuck's sake. Here, question to Twitch chat. Question to Twitch chat. What does what does Katarina do? What's Katarina's strength? What, what, what does she give to the team? That's the best thing. Damage. Does she give CC? Does she give utility? Does she do any of that shit? No. She does damage. That's all she does. She has no CC, no utility. So build full fucking damage. Luden, voice staff, not fucking Abyssal, you don't, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Abyssal used to be good before the changes to Abyssal, because it used to be really good early on cat, but now it's garbage, because they didn't allow the minions to reduce Amar on the minions, they didn't allow Abyssal to reduce Amar on minions, which hurts her laning phase, so you have no fucking reason to get Abyssal, even if you're losing, who gives a fuck if you're losing, if you want magic pen, get voice staff, you don't need Amar, you're not a fucking tank, you don't need shit, just go full damage. It works on other mid lane champions, not Cat. I'm sorry, it doesn't work on Cat. You you just don't have no you have zero fucking damage with Abyssal. It's it's crazy. And it's not good at all. You just go Luden, Zonia, or Luden Void. Those are good. You don't need Amar. If you're a good Katarina player, you don't need Amar. You don't. Because it's all in the end. It's tactical decision making. You don't care about the MR. You don't care about defense stats. The only thing you care about would be Zonya and GA in terms of defense stats. Or if you want, you can buy a Rylai. Let's see what you do now. Why are, you trying to, why are you doing red buff? Where's Ezreal? Ezreal's all the way bot lane. Why do you want to do red? Uh, okay. You're doing red for the money, I suppose. Why not? Honestly, why not? Sure. Free 66 gold. Now you can buy a Blasting Wand. For uh, Void. You need Void. At your 34 minutes in game, you need Void. Get Blasting. I don't know why you didn't buy anything. You have 800 gold. Maybe you're buying NLR for Rabadon or something? Look at that, you just stopped still there, like you're so slow, man. You can't just stand still like that. You gotta keep going, keep the flow going, man. You're, you're hesitant, like you even do that when you're trying to last hit minions, like... It's not a mistake, it's, it's, I see it, it's happening. Good. No F. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 39, 47. Also, you don't time flashes, but that's okay. You can start timing flashes as you go up in elo. It becomes crucial when you know an enemy has no flash, and it takes five minutes for flash cooldown to be up. Okay, the one thing you did right here. Uh, quick little tip. Okay, Fizz has no E, so it was perfect time to fight Fizz because he had no way to escape your ult. Okay, what do you do? QWR. You don't have to shampoo, man. You don't. You don't. You really don't. What if he flashed? How do you cap close to him with shampoo? So if you QEWR. And he gets away, that's a different story. But typically in point blank range, you wanna Q E, uh, sorry, Q W R. That's it. You don't have to shampoo, man. Just shampoo when he's far away. Save your gap puzzle for when it's important. Even though it didn't matter in this scenario, it matters in a lot of different scenarios. So much. You have no clue. Okay, you. Uh, what are you doing now? Why are you. Uh, what's going on? Blitz, hello? Kazix is behind you. No, 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 no! Uh, 
Oh man. I'll tell you what you did wrong. Again, you hesitated again. Okay, your hesitation is definitely noticeable. Okay, you never try to fight someone when they're when they're entering the fog of war. You don't, because then you can't queue, see? You tried once, you tried twice, and you still didn't get any of them. Uh, three times you tried, none of them worked, because they keep entering the fog of war. You are Which was okay, but in the end it was a bad decision. Obviously their whole team's gonna follow, why would you risk doing that? Let him fucking die, you can't do anything there. Get void. Okay, well, if they're not building Amar. Hex Drinker on Ka. I would, st I would still buy Void Staff, to be honest. I would. I really would. I honestly would just buy Void. That's because it's really good late game and things don't usually work out sometimes. I mean, they still have Amar. They have Hex, they have Mikhail. But technically, you know, typically their AD carry doesn't have. So I can see, you know, you one shotting their AD carry with Rab. But I'd still. I'd still go for uh, Void. Shut the down. <laughs> if you want Gunblade, say goodbye to Zanya. Yes! On the fact that if Gunblade would be amazing on Captive Flow, had 7 salt. I will agree with that. But, yeah. You can buy Gunblade and Zanya together. Sure. But it's expensive as fuck. But, uh. What's my opinion on Gunblade? Here we go, man. Here's my opinion on Gunblade. This is the command for that. Shut it down. I don't know when Baron's up. You should press tab and check when Baron's up. Maybe you did. <laughs> Fucking a moment, man. You're a clown. Are right, you gonna get blasted on now? Yup. Okay. If I had seven slots, would you would be your extra item? What would be your extra item on Cat? Uh, Rylai. Rylai for sure, because it's a fantastic late game item, and it provides HP, which is something you could use. Also, that gives the enemy players another item to buy, so keep that in mind. So Leandri would be good as well, Leandri, if they stack a lot of HP. You're so hesitant, man. You're so hesitant. Look at the way you're queuing. So hesitant, so hesitant. Like, that's your problem. That's your problem. You hesitate so much, like... I, I, I know hesitation when I see it. Right? What Guys, what's Katarina's quote? Only fools hesitate. That's Katarina's quote. Right? You need to master Katarina. You have to. Otherwise, you can't cat. That's just fact. An average Katarina player cannot make her work. Okay? I'll tell you what you did wrong. Look, look here. Okay? Look, look, look. Look, look at your Q. Okay? Look. Q, 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 Q. You're not even, you're not even targeting him. Look. Q, 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 Q. You still didn't hit him. You still didn't fucking throw out the Q. You didn't throw out the Q. It's still in your fucking cooldowns. Okay, watch. Okay. Kazis goes in. You're so hesitant. Like, you feel, okay, you have the feel and urge to fight because your team is fighting as well. So you don't want to feel like, oh shit, they're going to start blaming me if I don't fight this, right? Don't think like that. Fuck them. Let them think what they want. Let they fucking understand cat to begin with, okay? That's what I always get. And a lot of people flaming me on that shit. Because they don't understand Katarina. They don't understand when you should fight, when you should not fight, when to go in, how to go in, which direction to go in, how do I fight this, when sh who should I flash blink? Here. Summary. With cat, you need to... When you go in, you have to kill. You have to. There's no excuse for you not to kill. Because you're cat. You're a killer. You're an assassin. You're a beast. You're... You're a badass, murderous assassin. This is what you do. You kick ass, okay? You are an ass kicker, you kick ass. Period. Piri fucking id. Okay? You have no reason. No reason. Hex drinker. Hex drinker. Habibi, hex drinker. 73 MR. 
and then you just get come down instantly because you don't pay attention to cooldowns. It's like you're so hesitant, you don't you don't take consideration to anything. You know, no, you don't care about cooldowns, you don't care about CC anything. You just went in, you just went in and hoped. You can't hope with Katamina. You can't hope that things work out. You have to know they work out. That's why Katamina mains. That's why many players don't main cat because they don't have that determination in them and they don't have that feel like I can do this 100%. With Katamina, you have to know. You have to know if you can do this or not. You have to know. You have to know how much you damage you do in certain stages of the game. You have to know how much damage you can do against a 73 Amara Kazakhs, which by the way, you cannot kill because you don't have voice staff, right? You bought Abyssal, which by the way, aka massive trash item, which should not get on cat. That's the thing with Cat, and people disrespect her as a champion because people lack fucking brain cells. Sorry. If you don't, if you don't understand Cat, don't talk about Cat. It's just you embarrass yourself. Um, thirty-seven fifty-nine. Don't engage on Ka. Okay, don't engage on Kazix. He has Hex Drinker. You have no Void. You have no Void Staff. Furthermore, you paid no attention to any enemy cooldowns. You just went in and hoped things work out. That's exactly what you did. You just went in and was like, oh, please, please, let this be something good for our team. Like, you, you didn't... There was no coordination or anything behind that move at all. You just went in and hoped, which is not ideal with Cat. You can't just go in and hope. Thankfully, it worked out for your team very nicely. Triple kill. Fucking wrecked. Lay down the sword. Holy shit. What's up, Kit Kat? Jump on that. You guys, NA? I'm from, I'm from Kuwait, man. So, but I'm EU West. Uh, most people here are, are uh, EU. So, most people EU. Uh, I do have some American viewers as well, though. Here and there. But uh, it's mostly uh, European viewers, mate. I, I like his name too. Kit Kat Shampoo that. I love that name, I swear. Oh, you know that already? Sorry. Alright, alright. You already know. You just, you're just questioning, like you're just saying to the chat. Abyssal. Fizz is going Abyssal. You still have no voice staff. You don't need you don't need Rapidon right now, man. It's it's 39 minutes in game. You need voice staff. You need that percentage magic pen. They're gonna stop building a more HP right now. You're putting yourself in a more in more of a position where you can't do anything. Like you're you're doing that to yourself. No one's doing that to you. You know. You're doing that to yourself, which is not ideal. I'll see what you do here. Let's see. Garen's not here. Lulu's coming from the back. Vayne's in uh, Wraith Camp. She's coming through Wraith Camp right now. They're gonna do drag. What the fuck is Garen doing? Garen, it's time to wake up. Yeah, he's coming. Yeah, Flash. Can FE. But I know you're not going to. Fucking Ezreal's voice in Japanese. Holy shit. You can't do this. You can... No, no, no. Yeah, guys, is going! Go, go, go! You can kill Kazix. Free reset on Kazix. Free reset! Yeah, Habibi, a flashy! Flashy! Free reset, mate! Don't hesitate. You have Zonia. Look back! Look back! Look back! Don't just run away, man! Look back! Look back! Look back! Dude, 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 you're cat, man, you're cat. It doesn't matter if you're fucking 2, 4, 7 HP. Look back to your team, so who, see who's low HP. You have ulti, you have flash, you have ignite, you have everything. They might burn a cooldown on a Momo. That is fundamental to counter your ult. They might do that, you never know, just look. You just hesitate, you, you're so scared and hesitant so much. So let's look at that entire thing. And I'll tell you point by point. Okay, so... First thing you did wrong, okay, 
Okay, look at Garen. This Garen's a fucking boss, by the way. This Garen played this well. He he let them use all their cooldowns on him. Like, they used everything on, on Garen, okay? Knock up. Silence, look. No knock up. No silence on Chogath. Don't tell me this is not the perfect time to fight. Don't tell me that. Perfect timing to fight. Absolutely perfect timing. Chogath, by the way, is fucking low health. Is fucking low health. You flashy on Kazakhs, free reset, kill Chogath. Although, keep in mind, Kazax has Hex Drinker, but I still think you can kill him. I still think you can kill him, actually. But I would still recommend you get a Void Staff, just to be sure. Okay, Flash E, which you did not- That was free, that was so fucking free, but you just let it go so bad. Look at that, jumps away. Jumps away, because you're so- You're just- You don't know how to Flash Shampo. That's major. That's something you have to learn. Flash Shampo on Kazix before he gets away. Free reset. Also, Cho'Gath used both Knock Up and Silence. No way to counter your ult. So, that's already an upside for you. They used their fucking... They, he just used his two both major CCs to counter you. And guess what? It's fucking gone. So it was completely free. And you just let it go. You just let it go completely. Okay. Zonya. That was a good Zonya. No knock up, no silence, again. No knock up, no silence on Cho'Gath, again. But there's no way you can do anything here after that. And here, you just look look at the camera, your camera positioning. You're completely disregarding Amumu as a teammate. He just fucking queued in. He might have QR'd, you never know what he did. You just ignored him. That's not cool, man. Don't do that. That's not cool. 40-42. Don't ignore Amumu after he queues in. Okay, don't do that. Just look. Yes, it might be the wrong move. Yes, it might be a bad move. But look, see what's going. See what's happening. Okay. Their Kazix is alive. He's low health. Their Cho'Gath is alive, and he's kind of low health as well. But keep in mind, you don't have Boy Staff, so maybe you can't exactly kill him. Because I don't know if he has Amar. I don't think Cho'Gath has Amar. Don't ignore a moment after he queues in and walk away without even batting an eye towards his engage. That's just disrespectful to Amumu. You just fucking left him to die. You know, he maybe he did a stupid move, maybe he didn't, but if he QR'd, at least take a look. Take a look. Seize. Just look for yourself. Well, what's going on? You know, can I can I go in? Can I can I maybe get two kills there? I mean you're you're so scared. And you're also hesitant. You don't you don't do the right thing. You don't. Nope. You need voice staff. I agree with Ezreal. I actually agree with Ezreal. There's completely no teamwork at all. Except I like what Garen did. Garen did the right thing by forcing Cho'Gath to use silence and knock up on him on Garen. And you did nothing about it. You were very poor at punishing CC. You're very very bad at punishing cooldowns. Very bad. Incredibly bad. You're not punishing cooldowns at all. You also never asked. You never asked once if exhaust is on cooldown. Game's over. Yep. Defeat. You never asked anyone in your team if exhaust is up on Lulu, if Lulu alt is down, if you can roam, but you didn't even bat an eye anywhere. You didn't look top, you didn't look bot lane, you didn't look for roams, you just fucking sat in your lane. You, you didn't do any of that, man. As a Katarina player, this is fundamental. You have to look for roams, you have to see what you can do up and top and bot and everywhere. You have, you have to be aware. You can't just fucking sit in lane. You can't, you're Katarina. Very disappointed, actually. But anyway, this is a coach session, and I hope you improve from that, uh, I Know Real TV, which is his YouTube channel, by the way. That's his YouTube. But, uh, man, man, I gotta tell you, for real, that was, that was truly, truly astounding of some gameplay right there. Oh, he did so many mistakes, it's unbelievable. There was just a lot of, a lot of mistakes going on. He didn't even care about punishing cooldowns. He was, he didn't know how to ward Champo, okay? He didn't know how to use it, first of all, which is fundamental to Katarina. You have to know how to ward Champo. It's a surprise element. He also uses, doesn't use smart cast, which is huge on Cat. You have to use smart cast. And furthermore, he forgot about, he forgot to put his pink ward early in the game. He had this pink ward for like 
the whole fucking game when he bought it. So many mistakes, man. So many, so many. There's just so much you have to learn, man. If you want to really improve as a Katarina player, you have so much, so much. Well, that's it, guys. That's it for the coaching session. And I'd like to thank everyone from YouTube to watching this. Thank you guys so much. It's, a, it's been a long coach session. And thank you guys to the stream as well. See you guys later. Alright.